22 minutes past six. Now, nurses, police officers, supermarket staff and charity workers are some of those whose efforts in the fight against coronavirus have been recognised in the Queen's New Year's honours. And among them, Kirsty Baird, a choir leader from Edinburgh, who's been awarded a British Empire Medal for services to the community, and David Bagley, founder of Bolton Food Bank, who's been made an MBE. Kirsty and Deb, delighted to say, join us both this morning. <laughs> Good morning to both of you. And Kirsty, may I say to you first, congratulations. Uh, British Empire Medal, how does that sound? Um, it sounds quite cool. Um, yeah, good morning to you both. Uh, are you both well, yeah? Oh, we're fine. Very well. So tell Thank us you. about, tell us a little bit about the choir and, and what, um, what that's meant to people, particularly, I think, maybe over the last year. Um, well, I've had choirs for the last 10 years. I started Sing the City in 2010. Um, so before COVID hit, we had 18 choirs and 1,000 members. Um, so it's always, I mean, choirs and singing have always been quite, quite good for, you know, good socialising and mental health and things like this. But actually this year, um, I think the whole family has just kind of come together and just tried to survive and just tried to get through week by week, month by month. Um, and yeah, it's, I think it's saved probably quite a lot of people, including myself. And we're just seeing pictures of your choir in action now. Tell us about the charity single that you released, because it's done extraordinarily well, hasn't it? Um, the charity single is called Follow the Rainbows. Can you hear me? And have you been surprised at how successful it's been? Because it got, how high did it go in the charts in Scotland? Um, if all the rainbows, well, it's written by Hanley and the Beard. Um, I'm the Beard, um, the other Hanley's um, asleep there now. And it got to number three in the Scottish chart and it got to number 27 in the download chart in the UK. It was inspired by Singing the City members around about April this year. Um, we kind of had Zoom meetings with coffee and tea and biscuits and they were telling us how they felt. So we kind of jotted down all some of the words and then we wrote the song around some of their words. Um, so it's become a bit of a it's become a bit of a, of a choir anthem. Um, but yeah, it did really well and I'm, I'm really proud of it. Kirsty, can I just say, you strike me as being one of those people, and I don't know you personally, quite <laughs> matter of fact. Now, you, you, you know, we gave you a congratulations for the award. What about other people? Have you told family members? I mean, how's the reaction been from others? Um, I, I don't know what you mean about matter of fact, um, but um, you're probably really right there, Charlie. Um, <laughs> and I was told to keep it a secret. So one, at first when I actually found out about it, I thought somebody was winding me up. Um, so when I did find out about it and I, and I believed it to be true, um, I, I didn't, I told my partner, I told um, Annette, and I told my mum and dad, which I thought this is going to go one way or the other. You know, they're either going to just, tell the world but they didn't um and that was it i told my best friend um and that was it and i kept it to myself because um i was too feared to to speak about it because i was told not. i always think that's amazing that people manage to keep it under their hat uh, david we'll bring you in congratulations uh, your wife can't be with you